guys, welcome to another edition of the Music Dictator Reviews. Today we start the first of a long line of videos that will come every Thursday called Track Review Thursdays, where we'll review a recent uh, single I thought stood out in either a really good or a really bad way. This week we're going to be reviewing the UK band called The Struts new single, One Night Only. Now, in my opinion, they're one of my favorite modern rock bands up there with Cage the Elephant and Arctic Monkeys, but and you can definitely tell that they draw the most out of any band in this era from classical rock influences like the Rolling Stones, Queen, even a little bit Led Zeppelin. And I gotta tell you, for the most part, this track definitely does meet my expectations. One thing that definitely shines on this track that I've always liked through all their music is the lead singer Luke's vocals. I mean, you listen to him and it sounds like Freddie Mercury with a dash of Mick Jagger, where you sort of feel like part of the song, uh, it sounds like he's almost operatic or could be in an opera with some training. But also at times it sounds kind of like more sexy or more badass and more rock and roll like Mick Jagger's voice. Like, I mean, even at the beginning of the song when he breaks into the first verse and you hear him come in and it's kind of like, okay, he's kind of trying to be romantic here, but you also kind of hear him come in with kind of like a little badass, like, yeah, this girl wants to get with me, I'll give her one night only. But then he starts sort of like, I think, peels back towards more of his emotions once the chorus hits. You kind of need to hear more of a romantic and heartfelt song, meaning technically he'll give her one night only, but it almost seems like that he wants it to be more, but since the rock and roll image is kind of like a, you need to be one night stands, all sort of saying no, no connections or ties to any girls or anything, he wants to be more than that, but since the sort of click of rock and roll is kind of more about one night stands and being a badass, it's kind of hard for him to act that way. And I mean, when it comes to the backing instruments too, the drums, guitar, and bass, I mean, none of it's bad at all. I mean, in fact, the bass and drums are very good considering it's a, a song that you can't really service too much of flashiness with the bass or drums. But I also would have loved to hear them experiment more with like a flashier bass, maybe give it like a tiny solo or a more complex part. And the drums are pretty simple too, I mean, it's a typical backing drum you extract from the song, not that that's a bad thing or anything, it's just the drummer doesn't get a chance to really show off his chops or anything if he has any, and it's just sort of like, I don't know, like, I guess you could say Boston's drummer had a sense, like, nobody knows who Boston's drummer is, but we all know that he does a great job, especially backing up other instruments. Despite the drums and basses sort of basicness in the song, the electric guitar really gets to shine through. With in the solo, it's amazing. Like I love it. He just kind of noodles away and stuff. You don't hear that a lot on modern rock radio. But even in the chorus, the bridge, it's just all very powerful and not quite crunchy, but not quite soft. And it's, I wouldn't say it's distorted. I'm more it's sort of like just powerful. And even when you hear the verses, you hear a little bit of like a lick thrown in there sometimes. It's just kind of great hearing that on the radio again. I kind of missed it. I know I sound like a total elitist saying that, but I love old-fashioned, powerful rock and roll. And you can definitely tell back again once you get to the chorus that it's a powerful rock song. Overall, I think I'd give this song a solid A. Not quite good enough for an A+, because I'd love to hear more from the drum and bass section. But it was a great kick-ass rock song about love and lust. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this video. And remember to tune in every Thursday for another edition of Track Review Thursday. Yeah, I hope you guys like and subscribe. And down in the description, I will always post a link where you can hear the song that I review. Anyway, guys, I'm the Music Dictator. And what I say goes, for me at least.